For SOLIDWORKS 2016, we have a couple of really um, exciting announcements. One is um, a, a great new uh, tool for doing photorealistic renderings, all right, called SOLIDWORKS Visualize. Um, and what this does is it extends the capabilities that we had before. It, it's actually, um, you, you don't have to pay more for it. <laughs> it comes in SOLIDWORKS Professional and Premium. Um, and it actually is, you know, I like to think you get, I guess you'd say you get a lot more bang for your buck with this one as far as the amount of time that you put into setting up the uh, rendering and setting up what you want it to look like compared to the, and, and the time it takes to process it to what you actually get is much greater. So this product that we have is, um, SOLIDWORKS Visualize, is much better at, than what we have currently at creating really media ready type um, images and renderings. Uh, really, you know, things you'd need for immersive content now that you're seeing on, you know, on the web and things like that. The second thing is, I, I mentioned before, was a new product data management product we have coming out. It's called SOLIDWORKS PDM Standard. And that's going to uh, be a product, it, it's, it's more extensive than our current product, which is SOLIDWORKS Workgroup. We're not getting, we're not doing away with SOLIDWORKS Workgroup, um, but it's a product that we're offering. You can choose either SOLIDWORKS Workgroup or you can have SOLIDWORKS PDM Standard. Um, and what it allows you to do, it gives you kind of the power of SOLIDWORKS Enterprise PDM, which is now called SOLIDWORKS PDM Professional, by the way. Um, it gives you that same capability, but for a smaller group of people. So it's more powerful than, than Solid work than a work group PDM, all right. Uh, but it's not. It doesn't get into kind of the complexity of a of multi-site larger uh, organizations. So it gives you uh, really great capabilities, and it also lets you scale up later. So especially for growing companies, you know, right now you might just be a small group in one building, and later on as you become multi-site, you want a system that you can grow with and that you can expand. The great things about SOLIDWORKS, the SOLIDWORKS PDM line of products is that you can start small with SOLIDWORKS PDM standard and then as your organization grows and as you fan out or maybe even as you want to uh, add on new companies that you purchase, you can scale it up as you go, which is great. Um, now beyond that, um, in parts, assemblies, drawing, sketching, uh, there's a lot of great new functionality. A couple that come to mind, there's a new thread feature for, uh, for, for features. Um, we've improved the way that uh, Whole Wizard works. We've got for more for aesthetic type designs, we have a curvature continuous edge fillet um, that everybody who does plastic parts and castings will really like. Uh, so we're in, in, in sheet metal, we've added a lot of functionality. Things that were kind of problems before you had to have workarounds for, we've fixed those issues. We even have like edges, um, flanges on edges that extend beyond the edges. That was one that a lot of people were, were, were requesting. Uh, we added a, <clears throat> excuse me, we added a flattening capability in SOLIDWORKS 2015, flatten any surface. Um, we've extended that capability, we've made it better, and we've also added the ability to flatten not only the surface, but also curves that were drawn on that surface. So the curves will deform with the surfaces, which means that now you can manufacture things in the flat mark them in the flat and then fold them or roll them or however you're going to manufacture them and those curves of those markings will go with it that means you don't have to go in and measure later on so there's a lot of cool th things that we're doing for features drawings we've got a new uh, border layout capability that makes uh, uh, makes creating drawings and drawing views a lot easier we have a new model break view uh, that came in originally just in 3d and now it's in 2D for 2016. Uh, in assemblies, we've uh, created a new way that you can assemble the parts. It pops a new window, basically it makes it much easier to assemble um, the parts together. We've also uh, added the capability of capturing motion and saving motion. You can move your part and then save that as different instances than that automatically that you can then use in your drawing later. So just those those things that all our customers are constantly asking for. You know, we keep all those enhancements. They're, all our enhancements are rated. 
um, you know, how many people are requesting things, and we follow that every release. Most of what we put into SOLIDWORKS are, are enhancements to sketching and parts and drawings and assemblies. We still, that's our main focus in SOLIDWORKS. So we continue to do that. And then on the other side, for electrical, our new product line that we introduced in 2013, uh, we've made electrical a lot more easy to use. We've streamlined the user interface and also we've added a lot more in context uh, capabilities that makes electrical m much more intuitive when you're using it. You don't have to hunt for a, for a menu. It's right there in front of you. What, what you think you want to do is usually right there at the end of your, right, right waiting for your cursor to click right there. Um, and then we've, of course, in uh, validation and our simulation products, we've added, uh, one of the things is uh, faster uh, processing speeds. Um, we've also uh, simplified uh, simulation, flow, plastics, all the products, made them easier to use. Um, that, that would promote more people wanting to use that product, make it more like SolidWorks. Um, and then downstream in manufacturing, we mentioned this earlier, um, in uh, SolidWorks inspection, um, we've added new capabilities there. Uh, one of the things we've really improved is the OCR, the um, opti optical character recognition for uh, SolidWorks inspection. That means if I have an existing PDF drawing, I can more accurately pick information off that drawing and automatically create an inspection report, as well as, of course, what you can do already in SOLIDWORKS. So you can read either a SOLIDWORKS drawing or you could read a PDF drawing that, that already exists, you know, as a PDF file. Um, in SOLIDWORKS MBD, one big thing, we've added 3D GD&T for assemblies, which people have been asking for. Uh, we've made it easier to create the dimensions in SOLIDWORKS MBD, the 3D uh, GD&T product. Uh, we also have in, improved the uh, 3D PDF output. So now you can see things like uh, decals and uh, rendered uh, uh, dimensions and tolerances, things like that. Uh, in costing, we've added a lot, new, a lot of new capabilities, including nesting for sheet metal parts, so you can calculate more accurately the amount of material that's needed for a sheet metal part. Uh, we also added rules, so you can set up costing rules. Um, and we've also added, uh, oh, the big thing, we've added the ability to just click a button on an assembly and cost the entire assembly. So that's a big change. So it used to be you could only cost by parts. Now you can cost an entire assembly. So you know, running from top to bottom, you know, you can't do all of them, but those are just a few of the real exciting things that are coming out in SOLIDWORKS 2016.